But here we are, South Carolina. Smiling faces, beautiful faces. Nikki Haley, Governor. Now we're coming into Charleston. Look at them old buildings, old houses already. And looky here, we're just a block away from the uh, harbor and there's a carriage and a park. With some more historic houses everywhere. Whoa, I like that one right there. They have some uh, old cannons in here. They put on display. There's a bit, even a bigger one up ahead. And here's the harbor. Just a couple blocks away. And right in front of the park. And here's another cannon they have in the park with its the original cannonballs. Mm -hmm. Those were pretty dang heavy. <laughs> Here's another one. Look how big this one is. Wow. Probably solid cast iron man. And here's a monument on one corner of the park dedicated to the Confederate defenders of Charleston. Fort, Sum Fort Sumter, 1861 to 1865. Where so we're at the, uh, the other end of the park and uh, it's at the corner of East and South Battery. And some more historic houses. Look at them. <coughs> And we've turned a corner on the harbor, so now you can see another different view of it. There's a maybe ship for you back there. And there's a fort. See all the shells growing and stuff down there? There's a fort over there. Smell seaweed. I'm on the corner of uh, Meeting and Broad Street. And here's St. Michael's. Look at that. Here's the uh, post office. With the view of St. Michael's. There it is again. Here's one of the things you can see while you're here in Charleston. Here we have the Liberty Square, which has the South Carolina Aquarium and the Fort Sumter National Monument. Let's go check it out. And here's a, a sign, a picture of uh, so Fort Sumter. On 4.30 a.m. April 12, 1861, Confederate gunners fired on Fort Sum Sumter and the Civil War began. Sumter's Union garrison surrendered, and on April 14th, the Confederates took the fort. Fort Sumter then became a focus of a bitter four-year struggle as Union forces tried to regain the fort and control Charleston Harbor. Here's where it all started. And here is the Fort Sumter National Monument building. There's the Carolina Aquarium there, South Carolina Aquarium. Here uh, is a wall about the first shot. Yeah. <laughs> and there's various history boards here. 
This one's the colonial roots of the conflict. Here is the ambiguities of the Constitution. Over here is the antebellum United States, 1820 to 1860. And of course, South Carolina declares independence. Now let's check out the patio of the... Uh, Look at that view. Look at the bridge. Wow. Now they have a ferry tour that you go on here at the Port of Charleston. And uh, you board right down there. And it takes you to Fort Sumter. Now here's another interesting picture. This is what uh, Fort Sumter looked like in August of uh, 1863. It showed the effects of Union shelling during the longest siege in U.S. military history. Union batteries bombarded the fort for 20 months, 1863 to 1865, pounding it into a mound of rubble. And there's a picture of it. Wow. They also have a military museum in this complex. And there it is.